Welcome back to Ask the Trainer. Today a question came in about master valves. So Jeff, Jeff writes, my master valve is normally closed and I need to use the quick couplers on the main line. How can I create a program to open my master valve and pressurize the main so the quick couplers will work and have pressure? He's talking about a normally closed master valve, a valve that a master valve that is closed and doesn't allow any water into the main line until it opens up. And what what triggers that to open, a master valve to open, is when a zone valve opens, the master valve has to open in, in combination with that one to allow water in the main line, to allow water into the main, and then ultimately out to the zone valves and to the sprinklers. A normally open master valve is always open and will activate when there's an issue and the controller says, I have a high flow or an unexpected flow, close the main line. However, Jeff has a normally closed master valve and he wants to activate it um, to get water out to his quick couplers and then to do some manually watering. Okay, so I'm going to start off by this, by, uh, by assuming that you set up your master valve and control point correctly in the flow tab in App Manager or Base Manager specifically or at the controller. So if you've done that correctly, all these things will make sense. To answer your question very specifically, Jeff, you can't program just the master valve alone. The master valve will uh, operate when a zone valve opens. But that really isn't an issue. What we're going to do is create a program for a dummy zone, if you will. And when that dummy zone opens, which won't run any water, uh, the master valve will open and allow the main line to pressurize. Then we have 99 programs on a base station 3200 or 30 programs on a base station three uh, on a base station 1000. So it's really easy to find another place to do it. So let's switch over to base manager and take a look at that. So here we are in Base Manager, and let's go to the Schedule tab where we're going to do our work. So in the Schedule tab, uh, I'll show you. I've already set this up, so I've got a master valve program right here. So let's open it up and take a look at it and go to Edit. In the master valve program, it is enabled, so it will run. I've named it master valve right up here in the top, so that helps me identify it. I've also placed it as program 50, so it's going to put it way down on the list, and it's going to keep it out of the normal operation. It probably won't bother me if it's down there. Um, for this one, I've assigned a zone that is the zone 80. It's a dummy for the master valve. I don't actually have a zone attached to this. I only have a solenoid attached to this. So the solenoid only, and that's either attached to a zone bicoder or to a terminal on a power bicoder. And then I've set a runtime. In this case, I've set a runtime for 60 minutes, just one hour. And then we come down a little lower. I've, I've taken away the start time. This program does not run on a start time. It can run seven days a week, and I don't have any water windows associated with it. No start time, days only. So let's talk about how we might start this program. The way I have it set up is there is no start time. The only way it starts is when I manually start it. I can do that through Base Manager, or I can do that through mobile access with my phone. That might be a super convenient way to do it. And in my case, it's only going to run for one hour. And then when that zone is done running, it will close the zone, the dummy zone, and it will close the master valve, depressurizing the main line. So that's one option. The other option is to do it on a schedule to say that for two hours a day on Monday, Monday through Friday, it will pressurize the main line and run it, even though there's no zones running. That's another option, put it on a schedule. And then the third option, the one I kind of like, is to use a coaches button event by coder and use that to start the program. So create a program start condition. You press the coaches button. It starts the program for the runtime. And after the run period, it shuts off. Now, if you're not sure how to program a coaches button with a start, stop, pause condition, I've got another video for that one and I'll link to that one. But short answer for you, Jeff. No, you can't program the master valve directly. The master valve will be influenced when a zone runs then the master valve will open as well. And when that zone closes, it will close the master valve. Have a question for me? Click the link in the description and go to hydropoint.com slash askthetrainer to submit your question.